us. Today I'm going to be doing an updated Polestar gun or Polestar overview. So let's get started. Um, starting in the back, I have a VFC crane stock, same thing as last time. Um, same body and everything. VFC pistol grip, I cut the line down so it's like right at the, in the pistol grip. I didn't want it in the pistol grip too much because if I need to get it off and whatnot. So yeah. Um, as you can see the upper is where it's changed a lot. Okay, so um, starting from the back, I do not run any backup sights at the moment. I wanna get canted iron sights, maybe some kind of Embus Pro, I don't know. But as of right now, this is fine. Um, I have an aim point with the, I believe this is the canted lever mount on there with my call sign right there. Um, moving forward more, I have just the pink rail covers here just because I just wanted to throw a little color in there, I guess. Um, I have my Night Evolution pressure switch. This pressure pad, hold on. Shit, don't want to my line on the ground. This right here switches the scout on and off, and you can like, it's like an actual pressure pad, and then this button right here. You can press down and hold it. You can press down, and it'll keep the scout on. Um, moving to the front, I have, I have no idea what kind of compensator this is. I bought it from one of my friends. I like the way it looks. Try to like this a little bit, so you can see. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's that. So you have no grip or anything, it was on the bottom. There are no key mod slots for rail panels. So that kind of sucks. Going to the other side, I have a offset mount with my scout light, my Night Evolution scout light. As you can see right there, Get to adjust. I think that you can see that. Night Evolutions. I love this. My friend gave it to me for my birthday. Thank you, Chris. Um, it's a great flashlight, really blinding. And it's kind of just like there and not in the way like an M3. Um, and underneath all these attachments, I have, just to adjust, Noveski. I don't know if you can really see that. Noveski NSR key mode rails. I got these from my friend. Got them for a great deal. So I'm definitely happy about that. And there, still stock VFC hop up. You should be able to see that. I don't know. It's hard to see. Stock VFC hop up. Same. What the hell's in here? Same nozzle and everything. So yeah, that's basically it for this gun. I am. If you've followed my channel for a decent amount of time, you probably would have known that I. This was not always a Polar Star. This used to be a actual VFC, just a Mark 18. I, that had the gearbox in it, I took the gearbox out and put the fusion engine in, and I'm trying to rebuild a gun as of right now, so I have an AEG that I can use, and as long as the two other guns that I picked up this weekend, so I'll get to those in a minute, give you a little bit of a view of each side. That's that. I don't think you guys want to see the boring trays. It's not. The, T, the aim point is very, very clear, as you can see. Hold on, I can actually turn it on for you if you want. Or well, not if you want, like you guys are here. I don't know if you can see. You can kind of. I don't think you can see the dot. I don't even think I can see it, but whatever. So this, I like this site. Once again, got it from one, another one of my friends. So let's move on to the two guns I picked up this weekend. Right 
here, I have my Tokyo Marui 1911 with a real um, M3 on it. M3, you know, really bright. I like it. It's good. Um, you know, shooting in about 300, now more like 100 FPS with 0.3 gram BBs, 14 round magazine. Pretty sweet. Um, yeah, you know, I got the blowback action on it. Oh, shit, I can't pull it back. So, yeah, that's basically it. Great gun, especially for the money. I mean, it was a little expensive, but whatever. I like it. Here, I have my Sistema AK. With this cool camo on it. It's filled with hashtags and writing. Now... You know, and here you got that Sistema gearbox right there. All plastic, you know, it's beautiful. I actually like this the more than my Polar Star. You know, I'm missing the iron sight. Pretty nice. I mean, I got it for free. I found it in the garbage. I don't know why you'd throw out a Sistema, a Sistema AK, but pretty good pickup. As you can see here, you have auto, safe, and semi. Here, you have your hop up. You have two choices. You can either have it shooting down, you can have it shooting up. Not in the middle. It's just that good. So, you guys, that's basically it on my gun overviews. When I finish building my BFC, I will definitely do an overview on that. And none of the attachments that I used to have in my Polestar or for sale, those are all being used for my new build. So, you guys, thanks for watching. And... Um, I expect a montage within the next week or two. It depends on the footage I get on Saturday. So yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.